Dignity Health and Clinica Sierra Vista. Recognizing remarkable women in Kern County. Now, over the last four weeks, KGET, along with Dignity Health and Clinica Sierra Vista, have highlighted some truly remarkable women in Kern County. Women who lead, serve, and support others. Women like LaVon Jero, the kitchen manager at the Mission at Kern County. Women like Shirley Nicholas, the director of special education at Bakersfield City School District. Women like Elena LaRoque, the controller at Bakersfield Hyundai. And women like Carol Curlis, longtime librarian at the, and teacher at Heritage Christian Schools. This morning on KGET News at Sunrise, they announced the winner of the Remarkable Woman contest, who will be getting $1,000 to the charity of her choice and named the Bakersfield, Bakersfield Remarkable Woman for 2022. Now, the winner joins us now and is LaVon Jero, and she joins us on Studio 17 Live alongside one of our sponsors from Dignity Health, Robin Manger and Scott. Thank you guys so much for being being here. Thank no you for having us. Okay, well, you've had a few hours to let yes. it settle. We were just talking about that before, uh, before we came back live. How do you feel? You know, I feel really good. I feel honored and I feel blessed. Those are the best ways to feel, right? Yes. Honored and blessed. And yes. you, you should be feeling truly remarkable. Yes, I do. <laughs> Congratulations yes. on this. Now, for those that didn't get to watch your segment before, tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you do at the mission? Okay, so I'm a a kitchen manager at the mission. I've been there for 21 years. Um, I serve over, we serve over 500 to 600 meals per day on a daily basis. So I get to see and uh, meet uh, a lot of the homeless people in our community and I get to uh, serve them a nice nutritious meal. Something Each. that they need every yes. single day. Yes. Now how did you get involved with the mission? Well I got involved with the mission let's say about 22 years ago because at first I was uh, I was addicted to drugs and I was going through some bad things in my life and I remember one day I just prayed to God that something's got to change and so then of course I went to uh, to jail and when I got out I went to the mission and when I got to the mission you know my life just changed tremendously Absolutely. you know and I, I've, I've been changed ever since and I've always loved help, helping people, and um, I, there wasn't no better way to do it and a place to do it than at the mission. And to see it come full circle, you know, you were helped by the mission, and so now to yes. be able to help others yes. at the mission yes, is probably of course. one of those heartwarming moments and memories for you. Oh, yes. Do you feel like you connect to people that come to the mission a little bit differently than others might? Oh yeah, because I've been there and done that. Mm -hmm. So I can I can relate to them in a much better way because people like us, we have to meet us where we are. You can't expect us to be one way when we're you know in another way. Absolutely. No, yeah. I love the way that you said that. You have to meet us where we are, and yes. and you understand that. You understand that concept, so you're able to kind of meet them where they are exactly. and help them yes. get to a better place for themselves. Yes. Now, you were awarded a thousand dollars to donate to the charity of your choice. Have yes. you put any thought into what charity that'll be? Yes, I'm gonna donate it to the Mission at Kern County, just so I can give back in a little way, you know, because. You know, if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be where I am today, you know, and I, I'm, I was at the mission and I'm still at the mission and it's such a blessing and what, it's no better place to, no, to work at. That's I mean, amazing. it's no better place to work. So I'm grateful for the mission. Well, we are grateful to have you on here, and I have to tell you, you know, we're all about surprises, and you met Robin earlier today, yes, and she's yes. got some surprises up her sleeve, let me tell you. Robin, what do you have to surprise us Well, right I'll tell you. Um, we were in the green room, and uh, LaVon told me her story, and I knew that she would be, as part of this sponsorship by Dignity Health, be um, selecting the charity of her choice and giving the thousand dollars away. Well, what you don't know is that every morning at 4.30, this young lady gets up and um, tutors with math so that she can enhance her math skills. Mm -hmm. She goes to the culinary arts school at BC on her own mm -hmm. um, just to learn the science. She cooks from her soul. Absolutely. But to learn the science of food and how she can better prepare it and uh, nourish those who need it. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, I left here thinking that it shouldn't just be for the mission. So on behalf of Dignity Health, we want to present you, LaVon, with a check for 
A thousand dollars to help don't see. This is what you did to me before. A thousand dollars to help you with your education oh. and for you to continue the good work that oh you're doing. Goodness. You're the epitome of second chances and we're proud of you. Thank you so much. You're very oh welcome. Oh my goodness. Thank you ladies so much for coming on Studio 17 Live and congratulations Ms. Malone. We're so proud of you. You are truly remarkable. We'll see you guys oh, tomorrow. You. Continue to spread a little sparkle in every day.